do I take the loss now uh, to, to get those and the yield? It, it, hopefully it will be worth it in the next cycle. So that's the you know decision that I had to make. And yeah, spent uh, quite a bit of money. I think it was over $18,000 in 2022 and wow. just unstaking Crazy. fees. So in, in gas wow. fees alone. And I do want to transition or we're still going to stay on this topic, but you just alluded to exactly what I wanted to bring up, Ewok. An interesting comment that I have been seeing amongst all these, because you just mentioned about Richard, you know, having market timing and things like that. It's funny you say that because a lot of the comments that I've been seeing um, have been, if Pulse Chain is going to be so amazing, why does it matter when it comes out and why would he be timing the market? Um, I even saw a comment that specifically said uh, Jeff Bezos didn't have to do that with Amazon, like if the product is so great. And my immediate response to that is, OK, number one, those two things, that, that's just not even a valid argument. I mean, like comparing like a, a, a real world, you know, 25, 30 years ago uh, product compared to a blockchain in 2023 i just don't think that's comparable but no. we're talking about crypto cycles here which are not exactly if you haven't noticed for the faint of heart they move and they're volatile why would you not want the most optimal release that you could possibly right. get i mean yeah. yes i do agree yeah if it's so amazing blah 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 I, I understand that and yes um but why not put the cherry on top mm -hmm. and release with the wind in your sails, like we've talked about before. So what would your response be to that? Just, you know, that if Paul's changed so great, what, hey, you could have launched it when FTX was up in flames, which, <laughs> my God, that'd be terrible. Like, right. why? Well, you know, it, this is going to launch at zero. Don't forget that. So mm -hmm. the gains mm -hmm. are going to be pretty spectacular. Um, I think there will be a price point pretty quickly. Uh, you could see it go up and then we'll have that capitulation. But if the markets are strong, you know, there is a lot more upside than there is downside. So it just, it helps the market overall. Richard has always bragged about the the chart, the 10,000 X from the bottom. Um, you know, he, he likes that. He likes the, the clout that goes with it. You know, he's not going to release something in, in, if things are still going down. He also wants the, the people that don't believe to sell. <laughs> You know, the, mm -hmm. the yeah. longer he waits, the more the lettuce hands are weeded out and, and they get rid of it and, and can't, you know, they may have to buy in higher. You know, that's one of the things that, you know, I like about it is you're seeing a lot of people get fudded out. And, mm -hmm. you know, those are people that can't sell what they have later. So, you know, I, I like that. And yeah, I mean, why not really set an optimal time? It just, it, it makes sense. So, yeah, the people that... <laughs> the people that are, are are saying these things like i said they're 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 usually just negative they don't understand the cycles themselves um and they don't understand what you know richard has been all about this whole time he's he's in this for the glory he wants the best looking charts he wants the best product he's not going to sacrifice you know putting it out early just to keep people happy um it needs to be right it needs to be done and he will brag about it after the fact. I guarantee it. Oh, he'll definitely brag about it. Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah. Like those little factoids that he throws out about like how well Hex has performed. Mm -hmm. um, that's really his pride and joy because yeah. everything in crypto goes down. You know, we look at like all these failure blockchains that are failing all the time and are pumping dumps in one cycle and they're gone and stuff. And he wants to create stuff that, is the antithesis of that. And it's so convenient that many of the big influencer channels want to censor that, don't acknowledge Hex, don't acknowledge Pulse Chain. And eventually they will capitulate, obviously, and they won't have a choice. But um, it's just interesting that it goes that way. You know, the yeah. stuff that's actually the best is more gate kept, you know. Hexpassiveincome.com. My friend Crypto Coffee has created what I think is probably the best course for a new cryptocurrency investor. Not only that, but these courses usually charge an arm and a leg. Crypto Coffee is only charging $200. I think right now he actually has a discount for $150. I have a link below in the description. If you are new to crypto, do not understand Hex and how it works, click the link below 
It's a quick, easy course. He only gives you the basics. I personally, myself, have thought about creating an intro to crypto course in the past. I don't think there's any reason to do so because Matt Crypto Coffee has already taken care of that. And I don't think anything needs to be added by anybody else. So check it out. The link is in the description and sign up to Hex Passive Income today. I want to ask you because, you know, this negative price action on Hex, even, you know, now that we have seen the V4 release, I mean, we're really not out far enough to say anything fair. I don't think about the price right now, but it did pump up almost a full penny um, over the last couple hours and is sitting right under seven cents from what I'm looking at right now. Um, again, to me, as long as it's been below eight cents anyway, and especially below seven, I've been wanting to buy. But like I've said to you, I have been holding off because of gas prices, gas because rates. of what Gwei has been right now. And yeah. I, I DM'd you earlier, and I was going to buy some over the weekend, and I even kind of scoffed when I saw Gwei was at twenty seven. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for like something under twenty one of these nights here soon. I don't think I've seen under fifty since then, and probably on average, when I refresh, it's like been sixty five, seventy. I saw it up over a hundred multiple times today. Um, I yeah, think you here's the refreshed. I am well, too. here's the here's the chart. Um, of oh, there you the, go. Yeah. So I, I use this page a lot. This is Hex Um nice. They do have they have a gas page, a uh, gas prices page on there, um, and they graph it out how how it's been. And you can see, you know, this was early what, two a.m. would have been what ten p.m. our time last night. It mm -hmm. got down to forty two. Uh, but that's about as low as it's gone. You know, wow, it, it's crazy. And and even right now, it's fifty one. So it yeah, is kind of so headed back there. down, back down a little bit. But who? I I haven't even really looked to see uh, what's consuming all the the gas. You know, the way I have no idea. I haven't either. I know you. Um... Uh, through the idea, you were hating on the Zen boys and said it was Zen earlier uh, I was, today. I was I, kidding. I, I know, I'm just kidding. But uh, I, I honestly don't know. I, I have no idea because it's it's really, I mean, yeah, we're not like in the throes of the bear market anymore, but this is out of character. I mean, this is like very high the last couple of days. So um, I'm looking I, to see if I can find, I think it's on Etherscan if you. Um, yeah, it probably is. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm just looking at some of the recent transactions. I'll let you look and then you tell us. But what I was going to say is like, what I, what my strategy tends to be in times like this is when I want to buy a bag of Hex at the price that it's at and I'm combating these gas prices, I just try to, you know, any any spare change I can find over the course of the next few weeks, I just try to make one bigger buy order because I'm not really a fan yeah. of like spending you know, more money. And, you know, you got to remember right now too, that anything, as long as we are at these levels with hex, I mean, you're, well, I mean, this is true anytime before Paul's chain, but remember, you're not just getting it at the price you're getting it at, at an 85% discount or whatever. You're also getting a copy on Paul's chain. Um, yep. There's just a lot of incentive to getting hex at the depressed prices that it's at still right now. It's, I think the best buy you could possibly make. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get some more, uh, spare change dry powder together did you find out what it is i saw something mm -hmm. about like, no uh, i have transactions but um yeah i thought there was a thing on here that was like gas or resources uh gas charged. guzzlers or something yeah uh, i don't um, see top statistics I'll yeah. see if I can find it. I, I actually, believe it or not, I think there is something also on that one Zen website. I forget what the actual address of it is, but uh, I'll check and see. I, I think it. I think it actually does have like the activity on Ether Scan or on yeah. ETH on there. Here's so. a top statistics Dex activity. Uh, well, it just looks like Uniswap. Um, hmm. 921,000 transactions. Uh, oh, that's in the last seven days, though. Oh, okay. So, well, but still, you, you know, it's that's almost a million, almost a million transactions in the last seven days. That's uh, still pretty active. A lot of stuff know? going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I mean, this is another reason, like we're sitting here talking about Pulse Chain. This is a, the, you know, the reason that Richard Hart wanted to create this, obviously. Like here we are, or I am at least anyway, 
um, and probably others hesitant to buy Hex because of where gas prices are right now. Yeah. And, you know, I know you can speak to this, Ewok, but your experiences with having to unstake in the Uber parts of the bull market. Um, yeah. I heard that Coffee was... talking about it the other day, too. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Um, there were, you, you know, when when Hex launched, didn't have any idea. All we really heard was Hex is designed to two, you know, to ten thousand X in under two and a half years. So a lot of us set some stakes for two and a half years, right? Because mm -hmm. just in case, well, when that two and a half years happened, was the you know the, the height of the bull market gas fees were crazy uh some of my stakes from the early days that were just for that long uh were fourteen hundred dollars to unstake so fourteen hundred dollars worth of ethereum at that point was you know it was crazy and it wasn't right. just one there were several so you know and if you don't unstake them at that point when you said it was you know that you wanted to uh then they bleed out so you know you had to some of them were small some of them like were Again, I didn't know what I was doing at the beginning. Some of them were for a thousand hex or five thousand hex, which weren't really, you know, that profitable at that point. Um, so you had to really weigh the option of was it profitable enough to unstake, um, and then you kind of just had to think about well, what's going to happen in five years? Um, do I take the loss now uh, to to get those and the yield? It, it, hopefully it will be worth it in the next cycle. So that's the you know decision that I had to make and yeah, spent uh, quite a bit of money. I think it was over $18,000 in 2022 and wow. just unstaking Crazy. fees. So in gas wow. fees alone.